Masob knocks Southeast governors for rejecting Biafra. The movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra has criticized Southeast governors for turning their backs on Biafra and supporting Igbo presidency ahead of 2023 general election. Mm -hmm. Masob, who said the stance for the governors was in the minority, added that majority of Igbo people were pursuing the actualization of a sovereign state of Biafra. The director of information, Masob, Sunday Okerafo, told Punch that the quest of the Igbo elite for an Igbo person to succeed the president Mohamed Buhari was a mirage as the Notana will never allow an Igbo man become president of Nigeria. He said there is no way an Igbo man will ever rule Nigeria. Imagine the Southeast governors are saying that they want Igbo presidency and the masses are being killed in Obibo. You saw how many were killed. They killed Masop in thousands. Okerafor urged the Igbo elites not seeing the ambition of becoming Nigerian president to relocate to other parts of the country mm -hmm. as majority of Igbo would not support them. The governors should come up with their own presidency agenda. Let Masop come up with their front agenda and we will see who the people will support. Thank you for listening to this news. First and foremost, my viewers, permit me to ask this question. Where does Wazirike belong? Yes, Wazirike of Biafra. Where does it belong? Today, Wazirike will speak of Biafra of the support for Biafran Republic. Tomorrow, Wazirike will speak for the support of Igbo Presidency. I'm still very, very conf confused and don't know where he truly belongs. I don't know. Still don't know. I'm still floating. Though what he has said is the truth. There will never be Igbo Presidency. It will never happen. Indigo will not produce any president. They are just being fooled by this nonsense so that they will not focus on the pursuit for Igbo presidency, for um, Biafran actualization. They know what they are doing. What is said is the truth. But I don't want to believe that Bazuke is deceiving the. Uh, the, 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 the innocent Biafrans, the ones that are truly sincere in pursuing the Republic. You understand? Because I can remember vividly well when Wazirike was contesting and, and, um, and supporting the uh, Igbo presidency, saying since the Igbos, if the Igbos can be given presidency, then mm -hmm. there should be the, the Biafran can, 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 can still wait. But now, this is what Ricky saying that that um, that Biafran uh, blaming the the southeast governors for supporting the Igbo presidency. It's so confusing. Do you understand? It's so confusing. So that's why I started my analysis. With that, you see, I used to say something that if we are heading somewhere and we want to be successful in where we are heading to, we need to speak in one voice. We all need to speak in one voice. We all need to speak in one language. In one language that we all understand. 
so that we will end up not being deceived. Because the whole thing is now looking as if we are getting deceived by Matsob. Let Wazuriki support IPOP. It should stand together with Nam Kanu so that together they both can pursue this republic once and for all and stop beating around the bush. Eh? As for the Igbo presidency, I myself, I know without being told that these people are wasting their hair for king time. They are just wasting their hell fucking time. Because there is no way, there is no way that the Igbos will achieve presidency when the IPOP has not seconded or Masop has not seconded to it. The, 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 the Masop and, and, and the IPOP has the highest Igbo supporters. And whereby the Masop and the IPOP are not in support of Igbo presidency, then it is sure that there can never be any Igbo presidency. presidency. Because these people are just deceiving themselves, defecting from one place to the other. Didn't you see it? Yeah, that's what they did. And that's what they are doing. So let them keep defecting. To me, they are wasting their time. They are deceiving themselves. They don't keep deceiving themselves. When 2023 comes, then we shall know who is who. Mm -hmm. Yes. Umayi had just defected. Now we still have like five more people have defected to APC. All of them pursuing evil presidency for their own interest, not for the interest of the people. Hmm. I laugh. I laugh because we don't know these politicians and what they are up to and what they are capable of. They alone know themselves and know what they want and what they want to do. You don't know. You are just watching, believing that they meant well for you, whereas they don't. They don't mean well for you. They are deceiving you, making you to believe that they are for you. Iran la, it is a plantant lie. They don't mean well for you. So please don't be deceived. Don't be carried away by the tricks. This is what they do. And this is what they always do. And they will always do it. Do you understand? So that is, that is politicians for you. All right? But then, meanwhile, for the Igbo presidency, I know it is very, very impossible and can never and will never come to play. You understand? So, my viewers, deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.